What if you could manage all email accounts in one place without jumping between tabs? That's exactly what Thunderbird does best, offering insightful tools like advanced spam filters and tabbed emails for multitasking. Now, imagine having AI predict your replies, organize your inbox automatically, and integrate smoothly with tools like Google Drive. That's where Gmail shines. Both are incredible in their own way, but which one fits your needs better? Let's get into this head-to-head -head comparison and find out. When you first open Thunderbird, you notice its layout feels like stepping into a time machine. It's functional, but it doesn't scream modern or clean. The interface is straightforward. Tabs for each email, a sidebar for your folders, and your messages front and center. If you're used to older email clients, this will feel familiar, even comforting. But for someone looking for a polished, intuitive experience, it might take a bit to get used to. Despite the dated appearance, the customization options are vast. You can tweak the themes, rearrange the layout, and even add add-ons to make it work just how you want. Gmail, on the other hand, feels more like the smartphone of email clients, clean, simple, and built for quick actions. Emails are neatly organized into tabs like primary, social, and promotions, which makes managing a busy inbox feel less overwhelming. The design is optimized for both desktop and mobile, which gives you an easy experience no matter where you're checking your mail. And if you don't like how Gmail sorts your emails, you can easily adjust the filters to suit your needs. Switching from one app to the other really highlights how each is designed for a different type of user. Thunderbird caters to those who want control and versatility, while Gmail prioritizes ease of use and accessibility. This difference becomes even clearer when you dive into the features. Let's see what features and benefits both platforms offer. Thunderbird is a go-to choice for anyone juggling multiple email accounts from different providers. Whether you have Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo accounts, Thunderbird provides a centralized hub to manage them all efficiently. This means you don't have to switch between tabs or log in and out repeatedly. This feature saves time and minimizes confusion for professionals managing personal and business accounts simultaneously. For example, suppose you're a freelancer with a Gmail account for personal use. In that case, with an Outlook account for clients and a GMX account for project tracking, Thunderbird organizes everything in one place. Gmail also supports linking accounts, but prioritizes its ecosystem. While you can access other accounts through Gmail, it often feels more restrictive and geared toward enhancing the Google Workspace experience. If seamless integration across multiple providers is essential, Thunderbird leads in this department. When it comes to spam management, Thunderbird offers a hands-on approach. Its advanced spam filtering system uses Bayesian algorithms, server-based filters, and a customizable whitelist based on your address book. This means you can teach the app to recognize what's important and what's not, which improves accuracy over time. For instance, if you regularly receive newsletters from a trusted source, Thunderbird ensures they don't get mislabeled as spam. On the other hand, Gmail's spam filtering is almost entirely automated, boasting a 99.9% .9 success rate in blocking dangerous or irrelevant emails. While this is convenient, Gmail doesn't provide as much customization for specific needs. Thunderbird's system is ideal for users who want more control over their inboxes, especially if they frequently deal with niche or less common email sources. Tabbed email navigation in Thunderbird is a feature that stands out for multitaskers. It allows you to open multiple emails or tasks in different tabs, similar to how you use a browser. For example, you could have one tab open for a client's inquiry, another for a draft reply, and a third for an important reference document. This setup reduces the hassle of toggling between windows and makes it easier to handle complex tasks. Gmail, in contrast, opts for a cleaner, single-page layout. While this works for straightforward use, it lacks the versatility that Thunderbird provides for users managing high volumes of communication. Gmail users might find themselves opening new browser tabs or relying heavily on search functions, which can disrupt workflow. For people who value organization and multitasking, Thunderbird's tabbed navigation is a significant advantage. 
Thunderbird offers unmatched customization options for its dashboard, letting users design their workspace to suit their preferences. You can rearrange panels, choose from light or dark themes, and even install add-ons for more functionalities. For instance, you can set up a layout where frequently used folders like Sent or Important are always visible, which saves you the effort of navigating through multiple clicks. Thunderbird also allows you to download additional themes, which give your dashboard a unique look that matches your style. Gmail, on the other hand, is simpler in its customization options. You can switch between themes, enable or disable tabs like promotions or social, and adjust a few layout settings, but it's limited compared to Thunderbird. For users who thrive on personalization, Thunderbird's approach offers a workspace that feels truly their own. Gmail's Smart Compose is a feature powered by artificial intelligence that predicts what you're about to write, suggesting complete sentences as you type. This is particularly helpful for routine emails, where repetitive phrases are common. For example, if you often start emails with, I hope this message finds you well, Smart Compose will predict and suggest the phrase after you type, I hope. Over time, it adapts to your writing style, which makes it increasingly effective. Thunderbird, while versatile in many areas, doesn't have a comparable feature. It focuses on manual email composition without AI assistance, which might feel slower for users accustomed to Gmail's predictive capabilities. However, Thunderbird's manual approach ensures that you remain in full control of your content without relying on algorithms that might occasionally miss the mark. Gmail's nudge reminders are a subtle yet effective way to ensure you don't lose track of important conversations. For instance, if you sent an email three days ago without a response, Gmail highlights it with a message like, sent three days ago, follow up? Similarly, it reminds you of incoming emails you haven't replied to yet. This feature is especially valuable for busy professionals who might otherwise forget to circle back to important correspondence. Thunderbird, unfortunately, doesn't offer such reminders. Users need to manually keep track of their sent and received emails, which can be a challenge when managing high volumes of communication. While Thunderbird excels in many areas, Gmail's proactive nudge reminders provide a helpful safety net for those managing time-sensitive or critical communications. Thunderbird's add-on library is a treasure trove for users who love to customize and expand their email clients' capabilities. Being open source, Thunderbird allows developers worldwide to create add-ons that cater to specific needs. For instance, if you regularly send repetitive emails, the quick text add-on can help you create templates to save time. Similarly, Thunder HTML lets you edit HTML directly in your emails, which is ideal for professionals dealing with marketing or technical content. On the other hand, Gmail doesn't have an internal add-on store, but supports integration with third-party apps through Google Workspace. While this ecosystem is extensive, it often focuses on general productivity tools like Google Docs or Calendar, leaving niche needs unaddressed. Thunderbird's flexibility in allowing users to tailor their experience with targeted add-ons makes it a favorite for those who value customization. Sending large files via email can be a hassle, especially with attachment size limits. Thunderbird's file link feature solves this by uploading your large files to a cloud service and sharing a download link instead of attaching the file directly. For example, if you're sending a 100 megabyte design file to a client, file link ensures your email gets through without server rejections. You can even choose from multiple cloud storage services like Dropbox or OneDrive. Gmail handles large attachments by integrating with Google Drive, which allows you to insert file links directly into your email. While both approaches are effective, Thunderbird's flexibility to use different storage providers gives it an edge, especially for users already relying on non-Google services for their cloud storage needs. Both Thunderbird and Gmail offer offline email access, but the implementation differs. Thunderbird downloads your emails to your computer, allowing you to read, compose, and search through messages without an internet connection. This is particularly beneficial for users in areas with unreliable connectivity or for frequent travelers. Gmail, on the other hand, provides offline access through its web app when using Google Chrome. While you can still read and write emails offline, Gmail syncs these changes only when you reconnect to the internet. Thunderbird's complete offline functionality makes it a more reliable choice for users who need uninterrupted access to their emails, regardless of their connectivity situation. Security is a critical aspect of any email client, and both Thunderbird and Gmail prioritize protecting their users. Thunderbird supports encryption using PGP, pretty good privacy, giving users control over their email security.
It doesn't scan your emails for advertising purposes, maintaining a strong stance on user privacy. Gmail, while highly secure with features like two-factor authentication and machine learning-based threat detection, does scan emails to enable features like Smart Compose and targeted ads. For users prioritizing privacy and control, Thunderbird's open-source nature and lack of email scanning are significant advantages. However, Gmail's advanced threat detection and spam filtering remain unmatched for users seeking robust automated security measures. Thunderbird provides calendar integration through its Lightning extension, allowing you to schedule events, set reminders, and manage tasks alongside your emails. For example, you can create a to-do list within the app and set reminders for deadlines or meetings. Gmail takes this a step further by seamlessly integrating with Google Calendar and Google Tasks. You can create events, share calendars with colleagues, and even join Google Meet calls directly from your inbox. While Thunderbird offers basic calendar functionality, Gmail's tight integration within its ecosystem makes it more efficient for users who rely heavily on collaboration and scheduling. Thunderbird's search functionality is detailed and precise, which allows users to filter results by attributes like sender, subject, or date. This is especially useful when searching through a large archive of emails. For example, if you're trying to locate a specific invoice sent months ago, Thunderbird's advanced search filters make the task simple. Gmail, on the other hand, relies on its powerful search bar, which operates much like Google's web search. Typing keywords or phrases instantly pulls up relevant emails. While Gmail's search is faster and easier to use, Thunderbird's advanced filtering offers more depth, catering to users who need highly specific search capabilities. Gmail stands out for its easy integration with Google Drive, which allows users to store, share, and collaborate on files directly from their inbox. For instance, if you're working on a team project, you can attach a Google Doc to your email and allow others to edit it in real time. Thunderbird, while not natively tied to a cloud platform, supports third-party integrations through add-ons like FileLink. These features enable similar functionality, but the process isn't as streamlined as Gmail's built-in tools. For users who frequently collaborate on shared documents, Gmail provides a more efficient experience. Gmail's intuitive interface makes it a top choice for users new to email management. Its clean design, automated sorting of messages into categories like primary, social, and promotions, and built-in tutorials simplify the learning curve. Thunderbird, in contrast, may feel overwhelming to beginners due to its dated interface and extensive customization options. However, once users adapt, Thunderbird's flexibility becomes a significant advantage. For those prioritizing simplicity, Gmail is the better starting point, while Thunderbird appeals to users seeking advanced features and control over their email environment. Both platforms have their strengths, so the choice really depends on what you value most in an email client. Whichever you choose, it's about finding the one that fits your workflow and makes managing emails a bit easier.